Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Solid Rock Personal Training Show. I'm Coach Bob, and I'm joined by Coach Derek. As always, today we've got an amazing topic that's going to help you continue to rock and roll and push through 2021 like a beast. It's all about taking extreme ownership and being fully committed to the things that you say that you're going to do. So we're going to dive into this topic and make sure that you get the most out of your lifestyle in 2021. Coach, we see during this time of year, it's the end of February, go end of uh, January, going into February, that people are always starting to, you know, maybe wane a little bit or forget about why they started and made a commitment in the first place to their health and fitness goals. And let's talk a little bit today about what they can do to make sure that they stay consistent so they don't keep having to hit the reset button every year. Absolutely. I would say this probably happens like four times a year. And for me as a fitness professional, like someone who really cares about people and loves people, it's honestly the hardest time for me as a small business owner and as a fitness professional because it breaks my heart when I see people quit on themselves or stop showing up for themselves. And ultimately, it comes down to discipline. I know discipline gets a really bad rap, but it shouldn't. Anyone that ever accomplished anything in life was an extremely disciplined person. They didn't just come by success or come by a really fit body or whatever it may be just by chance. And I think Abe Lincoln said it best. It's uh, discipline is choosing what you want most over what you want now. And I think that's something that's extremely important. And when we wake up in the morning and we're tired and we don't want to consistently show up for ourselves and we just hit snooze or put things on the back burner, that's when our life just spirals out of control and we wondered what happened, why am I not getting the results that I want? Uh, so it's choosing discipline, man. Yeah, so you gotta say discipline to make sure that you honor your commitments. And honoring commitments is honestly gonna give you authenticity with self, right? Because if you say you're gonna do something and you don't follow through and you don't do it, you're gonna lose credibility with yourself, you're gonna lose credibility with others. And so at some point, you end up really just hitting the reset button over and over and over and over and give up, right? And that's the thing we see with failure all the time is that people just constantly lose credibility with themselves and therefore they, they go through that repetitive cycle. So what would be some, some tips that you give people to make sure that they are actually staying disciplined and they're making sure that they're actually having that credibility of self so that they can continue to charge forward? Yeah, absolutely. I think everyone struggles with discipline and I think you gotta add one discipline at a time. People try to do too much way too fast. I know personally, I try to add one discipline a year. I focus on that for an entire year. And then by the end of that year, hopefully I've got it mastered and I can continue to push forward with that discipline. But the big thing is like, what is your, what's your why? So, you know, we're talking about fitness here. So if you have a health or a fitness goal, what is your why for that goal? If your why is not big enough, you're not gonna stick to it. So, you know, if you had someone, like let's use Coach Bob for example, Coach Bob's dad died at 52? 53. 53 years old um, of a heart attack, and it was unexpected, right? So Bob has devoted his life to this industry because he doesn't want to happen what happened to his father to happen to him. He wants to be there present for his wife, and he wants to be there present for his kids. So his why is freaking huge. Um, and I know that's what motivates him to eat healthy. Dude eats healthier than anyone on staff. I can guarantee you that. And it's what motivates him to keep pushing forward. So what is your why? You gotta define that for yourself. For me personally, like mine is nowhere near as deep as Bob's. Like I wanna look freaking good. I wanna feel great. And I wanna be able to move well so I can go do active things and be a rock star husband and dad. That's and mine's super simple, but to me, that freaking fires me up and gets me out of bed and helps me stay disciplined to work out every day. So you have to define for yourself what your why is. And I, what I did is I wrote that down and I put it on a little flashcard and I duct taped it to my, uh, my steering wheel and I would look at that every day. I used to do that as an athlete. I'd write down my goals and I'd put it somewhere I'd see every day. So I would challenge you, write down your why once you got it let that hold you accountable. If it's not big enough, you're not gonna achieve what you set out to achieve. I understand. And, and it, so writing down your goals is super important, right? Because you gotta see it, you can manifest it, you can manifest it, you can make it come and happen. You need a reality. So um, past just writing down your goals, what are some practical things to help people make sure that they're staying consistent day in and day out so they keep showing up? Yes, when it, when it relates to working out, if you're working out here at Solid Rock Personal Training, book your classes in advance. Make it a game with yourself. Find a way to gamify it. So if I have to late cancel or early cancel my class, I understand life happens, but at some point we gotta stop making excuses. 
and we gotta take action. So gamify that. Lay out your clothes the night before. Have your food ready the night before for the next day uh, so you're already set up for success. If you just wake up and you booked a class and you're like, oh, maybe I'll go work out, maybe I'll not, oh, I'm tired today, I don't wanna do it. You've already said your goals aren't big enough, your why is not big enough, and you're not gonna achieve it. Have a plan, attack the plan, and move the ball forward. Love that. Cool, so that's it. That's all we got for you guys today. Coach Steve, you mind recapping what we talked about? Yeah, we talked about discipline. We talked about, you know, it gets a bad rap, but anyone that ever accomplished anything is a disciplined human being. And discipline is gonna allow you to live your life to the fullest so you can serve those around you. We talked about making your why, writing your why down, writing that goal down. Don't write a bunch of goals down. Write one goal down that's important and big to you so you can stick to it, keep yourself accountable, and you can achieve it. I love that. Guys, it would mean the world to us if you went ahead and rated this podcast wherever you're consuming it or if you're on a social platform, drop a comment, hit the like button, and share it. That way more people can hear about what we're helping people accomplish in living their healthiest, happiest life. Until next time, we'll see you back here.